I was really into Special Olympics, uh, working out in gymnastics and figure skating. I have let myself go athletically and I wanted to get back to that. I was looking for somebody to help me out with getting back on track and getting healthy because I was sick and tired of being sick and tired in the hospital. So I came from a really dark place. Her first goal was to lose weight, to get healthy. So I started getting into that um, training routine and her eating habit. And I'm always checking on her. I want her to go forward. I struggled with body image. I, I didn't feel pretty. I didn't feel attractive. This is more than just boxing and more than just fitness. It'll help you gain that confidence needed to continue to be a good person and continue thriving in whatever goals you have set for yourself. It's important to treat a person who has intellectual or physical disabilities the same way you would treat any client, any fighter, you know, disabled or not. A lot of persons with disabilities want to be pushed just like a pro fighter. I don't put her through no limits, you know what I mean? I'm always trying to take her to a different level. I make the adjustment necessary, but at the same time, push them to the limit, just like anybody else. When you put limits in someone's head, you make them feel like that they can't go past a certain threshold. I want to see what you can do first, you know, before I put the idea of limits in their head. And I got that straight from Coach Lopez because that's how he trains me. That person wants to be good just like me, just like others. He's my mentor. I just wanted to, I want to be like him and be able to inspire people to reach their fullest potential. You know, she has a great personality. She's good with people. And then uh, she pushed herself. It's good for her to start creating example for other people. That comes with the territory of having that great discipline for you to accomplish your goal. I would like to be an inclusive personal trainer. I would integrate young women who are having body image issues, at-risk youth, some adults who just want a second chance at getting their life back together. You know, those who are the underdogs. I'm passionate about helping young women who are struggling with any type of addiction or coming out of unhealthy relationships because I've been there. I know the struggle. I know what it feels like when you share your story with someone and you're pushed away. I would help them feel like they are in a safe place where they can work out without having to feel the temptations of wanting to go back into that lifestyle. You know, teach them that they are better than that and they're worth something, their life is worth something, they're important. Persons without disabilities, with persons with disabilities, you know, have it just one class to where everybody can just feel like they're coming to get a good workout and nobody is feeling singled out. And then when they see a result, they, they be like, oh man, you know what I mean? It's trustable. Okay, she could do it. You know, she went through with this. I could do it myself. You know, and I think that's something positive that she could bring to them. And all she's gonna do beside that, just pass it to other people. And that's what they're gonna learn from her. I wanna be a coach who helps people overcome overcome whatever weight is holding them down. And I'm not talking about just physical weight, I'm talking about mental weight. I wanna teach the youth, young ladies, um, that you can still look good and, you know, dress nice without having to show everything off and not having to compromise your values. Being naked does not equal to a good workout. So, you know, I, I want to show young ladies that, hey, I can be, a woman and use my mind and just be me without having to do extra stuff. If you come do workouts, you're going to want to change your lifestyle. You're not going to want to drink. You're not going to want to go out and party. And you're not going to want to eat junk. I now have healthy relationships. I can get up and get out of bed and I feel like I have a life again. I feel like my, my life has just begun and I'm I'm confident I can I can win. I can win.